I just need to tell you because it crashed out again. That soup and that eggy bread, that cleggy bread or whatever we're calling it, chickpea one, was so good. The soup was so nice. Do you know what? I've surpassed myself. I have to say, you've, you've surpassed yourself, lover. It was a triumph. <laughs> I can't... Oh, do you know what? I don't always... Sometimes food is just like it's just the thing that you have to eat, isn't it? Because it gets you through. But I really enjoyed that. I actually did. I'm not showing off. I'm just... I just want to share that I... Oh, do you know, it was for something I was expecting not to be so good. This goes back to see old old... Oh, Spider-Man saying the other day, pray in the dark. If you pray in the dark, you, you always get a miracle. So, um, it's maybe it's good to sit in the dark sometimes with your 20 pence worth of shopping to last four years. That was a magnificent meal. It actually was. The soup tasted so good. Not like I was expecting it to at all. What else did I put in it? Nothing, I don't think. I did actually. I chucked a few juniper berries in in the end. I wasn't going to put them in before because I didn't think they go with what I was doing with the parsnips. But when I tasted it, it had turned sort of gamey. That sort of rich, do you know what I mean? That sort of slightly rich flavour, which I wasn't really expecting it to. Um, and then a spoonful of hummus and half tin of beans. It was bloody marvellous. I don't feel like I've missed anything at all. I have a cup of tea now. And the eggy bread works. It crashed out, the thing crashed out before I could taste it and tell you the truth. It was almost exactly like eggy bread. Um, I'll maybe do that another day and show you how I did it. But I just put some gram flour in. Uh, a hit and miss amount. I just, because I do everything by eye, I spy. Um, I say maybe two just tablespoons, maybe heaped ones. And then I had half a cup of that tea, but water's water's absolutely fine. Um, I just used the cold tea. I put a bit of vanilla in. You don't need to. I don't think you'd need to because I don't want to make the omelets. I don't put any of that in it, but I just did it today. Um, just a few drops. All you bun makers will have vanilla essence in anyway, won't you? Of course you will. Um, a bit of nutmeg, a tiny bit, and then it smelt. Nutmeg always makes me feel a bit sick when I smell it, but it's like you couldn't taste it. And then a tiny bit of cloves, ground cloves, I had to put that in as well. Um, I mixed it up. It looked a bit watery, so I dropped some oil in. I was trying to think of eggs, of the, like, what's in eggs? Um, and they've got a fat content, so I put some fat in. And then mixed it, and it thickens up again. Um, until it was the consistency I thought you know when you whisk egg to make eggy eggy bread so not too thick and not too well how you want it I suppose because different coats do different things don't they and then um, I put it all in the bowl and just spooned it over spread it round a bit and then turned it over and did the other side uh, and then fried it do you know what that was bloody that was bloody wonderful I might have that I might do it again for tea Two slices of bread. I'm stuffed now because of the fat, but um, I'm an old pig anyway. The dog had one bit. She was barking for it. She knew it was good. She didn't want the soup. She just wanted the eggy bread. Cleggy bread. What are we calling it? What are we going to call that magnificence? Chelsea. I'm going to call it Chelsea Rider. That's what. <laughs> it's a Chelsea Spider. That ground flour is not expensive, and it just, I just had it in. I had it in. The man he gave me, the dog bought me some before. Uh, he got me into ground flour. I'd not used it before that. And what did he say? He, because he, he lived on a, I'm going to say commune, but it wasn't. It was a, well, I suppose it was. It was a Buddhist, it was a Buddhist community. And they used to, he said, he told me they used to fry that comfrey in ground flour coat it in ground flour and fry it and it's like fish tastes like fish um i've not done that before but do you know what i could try it couldn't i um and what else did we use it for i forget why it came up we bought it for christmas once they bought me some ground flour and a book 
the hell did I use it for originally? I had it for something. I can't fucking remember. I use it quite a lot now though. But omelettes, because I just one day I decided being a vegan, I just suddenly craved an omelette one day and I was thinking, how can I, what can I have instead? And I thought, oh, do you know what? Chickpeas taste quite eggy, don't they? I think that's why they're called chickpeas, because they, apart from the fact they've got little beaks on them. Um, and it was quite, do you know what? I did that the first, so that was the first time I did it. I made these omelettes. With just water whisked up the gram flour with a bit of baking powder, I think, because it just rises. And um, did it with vegan cheese. It was made. Oh, and mushrooms. That's what. Cook the mushrooms first. So good. So good. Oh, we bought it for they. Let me have gram flour in. I forgot. Maybe just because we're talking protein. And he got it for me, and then I just worked out what to do with it afterwards. That must have been for something, though. Hmm. I don't remember. I stuck some in that parsley mash the other day, though. Just a little bit. <sighs> protein, protein, protein. Right. I just needed to say, that was so nice. That was... Bit of porridge in it to thicken it for like about a third of the thing of passata I chucked in at the end. I just like as I'm going, we well, do, don't you? As you're going along, you think, oh, this just needs something, this just needs something, and just like weasel your way through it. That's how I've come to be anyway. But, um, I was dreading it to be honest because I had parsnips in and parsnips. I like them, I didn't want to buy them in the shop. Mm. That was so nice, though. I'm not gloating. <laughs> I'm just, it's sort of a relief. A relief mixed with... Oh, look. That was... Oh, do you know who that is? I bet that's old fucking... Bo Martney. McCartney. Blackbird singing in the summer sky. When these broken wings are learn to fly... You were always waiting for this moment to arrive. Blackbird. He's only got me into nutmeg over the old, over the old vine. Chuck nutmeg in it. Chuck nut more nutmeg, more nutmeg. And a cinnamon peg. That's true. Who is John? John Wendell. It might be because the first one we moved in. When we first moved in, there was a blackbird with a white spot on it. it. Used to be here, with a white mark on it. And then over the years, it was obviously a genetic thing. They had taken a white, white shot. But different ones turns up with a white spot on. But um. He's looking for the nest I put up yesterday, I think. <sighs> A present? A present from the angels? Anyway, that was a magnificent meal. It truly was. Look, the dog's, the dog's fucking up the fox ball. Dolly! Find your own stick. Where's your ball? There's a ball upstairs on the bed. I might take a walk, actually. Today, in a minute. I mean, not today. She went for one yesterday. Have a cup of tea first. I can't get over that soup. That was so nice. Do you know what? I would have served, happily, proudly served that at a, a dinner party. It's true. I would have served that to people and not been ashamed. 
Except, you know what, if I had cooked it for people, if I'd cooked it for a crowd, it wouldn't have turned out like that. It would have turned out like a, a bag of piss with old stones in it. <laughs> I made this. <laughs> I tried to do a baked rice pudding when we first moved in. Oh, my God. It wasn't cooked anyway. It not matter, does it? It not matter at all. It's part of walking the road. And I chop everything up really small because it cooks quicker in theory and saves the gas a bit. That's something to do as well for me. When I'm sitting here helping you lot, doing all your work, working out new recipes for you to turf out onto the shelves. Keeping your pockets filled and the, the tills rolling. And, uh, you know, you know, we're just sitting here doing all the work. And the tasting of the food. Making sure it's not poisonous myself. That soup was so good. So good. Mm. Well, fix some lights next, eh? I'll see you later.